the will to power. Um, incredibly misunderstood concept, and I think that it's going to always be that way, simply because of the way that it's described. Um, and I think that, if I may be so arrogant, I think that it should uh, be renamed the will to empowerment. Uh, because we live in a set of circumstances here as human beings that in many ways enslave us. We're stuck in these bodies. We're stuck living among all these circumstances that we can't control. Um, and the number of things that thwart our uh, self-actualization are enormous. The will to power, if you ask me, is simply um, rising above that. It's not power over other people. It's, um, it's just rising above the uh, amount of power that is exercised, even by default, over oneself, by one's circumstances, by one's environment, by one's society, um, by one's DNA. That, to me, is the will to power, the will to empowerment. I think that you can't really understand Nietzsche without understanding, uh, without having a pretty good grasp of the classics, the ancient Greeks and Romans, and their literature and philosophy and things like that, and history, especially history. Luckily, I have that background. <clears throat> and one of the things that he points out is the fact that a lot of what people think about or thought about the ancient Greeks in particular, in his era, the 19th century, was possibly wrong, or at least distorted. Um, for example, he would probably agree with this. I have a book about ancient Greek lyric poetry. Uh, Tartius, who is the great poet of the, of the Spartans, you should reach the limits of virtue before you cross the border of death. What would the Spartans have meant by virtue? <laughs> they would have meant something completely different than what we understand as virtue. And it has more to do with the will to power, the will to empowerment, personal empowerment. Um, I think you could talk about the will to power for hours and never really nail down what either Nietzsche meant or what one oneself means, because it's so easily misunderstood depending on what preconceptions are in the other person's mind. They're sweeping the streets here, sorry. Thanks.